everybody, welcome back to Mama Man's Kitchen. If it's your first time, thank you for popping in and hanging out with me today. So I'm gonna be cooking right here in my own kitchen, doing some quick meals that I've came up with. Now this one is a family favorite that I was playing with one day. What happened is my family loves French toast. I like pancakes, so I was playing around and I came up with this, I call it pan toast. So we're gonna have pan toast, brown sugar, bacon, and we're also gonna have eggs. So we're gonna have breakfast for dinner or you can have it just for breakfast, however way you wanna prepare it, with a strawberry syrup or a regular syrup. So we're gonna make it all nice and pretty. Y'all hear my country accent. But I'm so happy to be hanging out in the kitchen, I'm having a good time. So I have a pancake mix here. Now you can use whatever pancake mix that you wanna use. I use French bread, but this is like my favorite kind of little go-to that I found at the grocery store just playing around. So all right, we're gonna mix this up and we're gonna get this, get this ball rolling. So we got a cup of milk, gonna add an egg to it. If you've watched me before, I try to stay clean as I'm... Now another helpful hint, guys, if you're new to cooking, always crack your egg over a, like a clear bowl or a bowl so in case if you drop a shell, you can see it because you don't want your shells to wind up inside of your, in your food. That won't be so good. So we got that going. We're gonna put this egg in here. We won't have any shell in that. That goes in there. So we're gonna mix all of this together. Get this going. Another thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get this skillet. Get my skillet getting hot a little bit. Cause this right here is, woo, y'all. Y'all family gonna love this. This, this, is, this is like the bomb. Dot com, right? And I'm gonna just loosen. I want it to be loose. I don't want it to be a real thick batter, so I'm adding a little bit of water to that. Let's loosen it up. We're gonna add a little vanilla extract. Now, this one right here is a clear extract. It's it, They have clear vanilla, and then they have the vanilla that's brown that I was always used to, but a, along the way, I found out. Just see, this keep your stuff white. Like, if you want, got a white cake, you know, you really don't want to put the brown in there, so you won't get a little, it won't turn it to like off white. You want it to stay just white. So that's a little helpful hint right there. So we're gonna get that going. Got this mixed up. And my, while my skillet is heating, got this all blended up. We're gonna take some bacon. Gonna take some good, you know, like raw bacon. I'll probably do about six pieces right here. Yeah, about six pieces this pan is small. So what you're gonna do is to make brown sugar, so you're gonna take you some brown sugar. Brown sugar, baby. Yeah, <laughs> gotta do it, gotta have that. So you're gonna take some and put it in the pan. Gonna flatten it out a little bit. So what happens is, you're just gonna make sure that you, you get it on, on, on the sides. It's not like you want it on every piece in between there. So we'll take this, flatten it out on there, push it in there real good on the sides. You just really want it on the sides, just to give it just a little flavor. Just, you know, add a little pizzazz or something like that. But this is what we doing today, breakfast for dinner. I, I think it's the best. I love having breakfast for dinner. You know, sometime in the morning I don't like breakfast. Breakfast, I'm not really a breakfast eater, so I really like having it at night, in the evening time. So we got another little small pan here. So what we're gonna do is gonna lay, push this up a little bit. Gonna lay this out, one piece at a time. Got your little brown sugar on each side. We're gonna make sure that's nice and tight in the pan. You know, I'm, I'm not cooking, it's just me and David here. So it, I'm, I don't have to cook no whole, whole lot for a whole lot of people. Now I have to do this sometimes when all the people, when all my family's over here, the, the grandkids, I turn them on to this boy, they just, you can use light bread, Texas toast, French bread, I like using, not the hard baguette bread, but the other French bread that's kind of soft and you just cut it to kind of make it look nice and pretty where you can put a little angle on it. I like that when I do that. So we're gonna take the bacon and we're gonna put it in the oven. So we'll let that get nice and crispy and we going on down to this good old, I'm so happy about it. Make me wanna preach it. <sighs> Pan toast. Y'all like pan toast? Yeah, cause you got your pancake mix and you got French toast. So I just said pan toast, that's how I came up that night. 
All right, we're gonna keep this moving. What happens now is you take it and you just dip it in this batter all the way around. All the way around. You got that cameraman? All the way around. Ooh. And it just absorbs in that joker right there. It just, mmm, my God. Get pretty. Make sure my, make sure my, uh, the oil is hot. That's one thing, Br Brother David, he be like, you gotta make sure your skillet is hot. You ain't cooking if your skillet ain't hot. So, my skillet ain't hot. So yeah, I just hold on. All right, we got it, got it hot. Oh yeah, there you go. You hear that sizzle? Shh, shh, shh. Listen. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me a couple more. Give me a couple more going. Woohoo! Just a little bit, just to add a little bit, add a little bit going on right there. Ooh, that looks so pretty. It's so pretty, bro. <laughs> Woo, there we go. Look at that, we're gonna flip that. Look at that, look at that, get in there. Look at that right there. Ooh, don't that pretty? Oh, that looks nice. You just have to keep your little oil, just a little oil on it. You don't have to just drown it. You don't have to drown it. Just a little bit. What happens is we're going to take it for that, that the batter's on the side. We're going to dip it. I'm going to hold it up and let it make sure that it cooks on the side right there. Ooh, that looks so thin. That looks gorgeous. See my bacon. Got to get my eggs going. While this, while this simmering right there, get my eggs ready. Have a, ain't nothing like a nice scrambled egg. We're gonna throw some little cheese in there. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Had a little shell to fall. So you make sure that you get all that out of there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ain't nothing like some, woo, nothing like a, uh oh. Praise the Lord. I got it. I got it. Wipe right, my hands right there. Take him and make sure that it's browning on, on the side. See how that look right there? Look at that. Oh, that look, she looks gorgeous. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Don't that look pretty? See that? You got that in there? Come on up in there. That nice. This is called pan toast. Look at that. Make sure you got it cooking on around on your edges. Lift that up. Brown right there. I named it pan toast because you got pancakes and toast together. So if from French toast to pan toast. I'm gonna do a little, do a couple more right there. Woo! This, y'all, this, this is good. When I tell y'all, uh oh, your family gonna like this. This the lit. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a hit with your family. Nice golden brown is what you want. <clears throat> That's the look that you would like to have. So see how that's coming out right there? Just nice and brown. Get some eggs going. Extra out of there, the little extra batter that fell over. I just don't like for it to burn. Making sure it's brown and I'm all the way around. And then the oil that you have in there. If you can't hold it like this, you know, you can just use two spatulas. That, that, that works as well. I'm gonna do one more skillet for my, for my eggs. I really don't like adding black pepper to my eggs. I really prefer to just let people do it on their own because I just don't like, I like my eggs to be nice and yellow and fluffy. I don't like to disturb it, I would say, so. What we could do is, I'm gonna crack 
crack this up, then we're gonna put some shredded cheese in these. Get all that egg out of there. Get your soda out of there. <clears throat> so we're gonna use shredded cheese on these. I like American cheese in my eggs as well, but today we're gonna just do, you know, just make it look pretty. We're just gonna put a little shredded cheese. Actually, I like Mexican shredded cheese. Cause I don't know, I like all the flavors. Cause you get Monterey, you get all different kind of flavors out of it. With the with the mixture of the cheddar, Monterey, I like them soft. My family, we like they like soft scrambled eggs. I don't spoil them. All right, well we we scrambling these eggs. Let that sit for a second. We're gonna turn it. You know, I really kind of learned how to. My mom used to cook eggs for us. I like scrambled eggs over. I don't like over easy. I don't like port, poached, as they say. And uh, I like boiled eggs, but they don't, boiled eggs don't like me. But I do like them. So we're going to cut this fire off. That's good, because it's, it's so hot. The eggs are actually keep cooking for a few minutes on their own. So we're going to let that just sit there. We're going to go check that bacon. All right, that should be good. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna crank up another piece of, another fire, and I'm gonna make an actual syrup, a strawberry syrup, to actually go on the pan toast. So you can use regular, but this is just something a little just special. This is like a strawberry glaze that you can buy in the bakery department at the grocery store. It's already, but I'm just adding a little water to just thin and add a little bit. Thin it out. So when we get ready to pour it on, it's like just the actual syrup. So this is pan toast that I'm making today. Something that I just kind of created for my family, just playing around one day in the kitchen. But this is a really an easy, a easy, quick meal for you and your family. So we letting that heat up. <clears throat> so I, what I want to do is encourage you. In the kitchen, I mean, if you don't know how, it's okay to mess up. Sometimes you have to buy a little extra. If you're trying something new, you may mess up, especially when it comes to making gravy. It takes a little time to learn how to make gravy and different things. So if you, if you mess up, just try again. Don't stop. I just want to encourage you to get in the kitchen with your family and to just, hey, make some things happen. So this, I'm just going to start plating this. What I just did is I added water to the uh, strawberry gel. I just added water just to loosen it up because it comes real kind of thick but you want it to be loose you know like a nice smooth syrup. What we're finna do is we're gonna go over to and get the bacon out of the oven. Then we're gonna be ready to eat. All right, all right, here we go. We got it plated. We got a pan toast, my little special something that I came up for the family. We put some whipped cream on it, strawberry syrup. We got some soft scrambled eggs here with a mixture of, of cheeses. I like the Mexican uh, shredded cheeses. And we have a brown sugar bacon. Check it out. I try to stay out, but this is one of my favorites. I didn't want to be in the episode, but this is one of my favorite episodes and one of my favorite ones that she does. Uh, you just came out of nowhere. I just popped up because I seen Mama Man's pan toast, half pancake, half French toast. Here we go. Half that, but all amazing. Half that, but all amazing. Hey, thank y'all for joining me. Hope you enjoy this with your family. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and judge less and love more. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time. You can't eat too much. Got